This is the 2014 Kia Forte. Maybe not top of mind when you're shopping for a compact car. The usual suspects, the Corolla, the Civic, and the cousin of this, the Hyundai Elantra, all top sellers. Well, Kia is out to change all of that with this new 2014 model. Now, about a year ago, we were right here in Arizona test driving the Kia Rio sedan. And their attitude with equipment on that car was to get you into a base model if that's all you could afford, or have all the luxury features you could ever want in a subcompact sedan if the price permitted. Well, they're doing the exact same thing with this Forte. Base model is nicely equipped, but you can go all the way to the top and get the car we have here with heated and cooled front seats, heated back back seats, heated steering wheel, of course navigation with a backup camera, the side mirrors even fold in when you're parking. So a lot of features you typically don't find in a compact car. So this is a new attitude for Kia with the Forte and it's out to take on all the competition. The new 2014 Forte is a rolling showcase with features only found in luxury sedans just a few short years ago. With price of gas skyrocketing, people are downsizing their vehicles, but they're not willing to give up on the luxuries they once had in a larger car. And with the Kia Forte, we're supplying the driver with a heated steering wheel, a cooled leather driver's seat, rear heated seats, a multimedia system with an all new graphic user interface, huge album artwork, and just the amount of technology packed in this vehicle is something that you find in an intermediate or full-size luxury car. Our customers have been asking for high intensity discharge headlights and we've applied that to the Kia Forte. Moving to the rear, we have our new LED light bar technology tail lights, which gives a nice diffused red light that uh, is something that you just typically do not find on Canadian roads, especially in the compact car class. In this car, you also got the available flex steer. You can set the weight of the steering from normal to comfort to sport. All that does is change the feeling of the steering, but it doesn't affect any uh, activity with the steering. And I have to say that I've been a big complainer about the Korean manufacturers with their electric power steering. This one feels pretty good, but that might also be because we have the larger 17 inch wheels on this car. Now get to the motors. The 148 horsepower, 1.8 liter engine from the previous car has been carried over. That's the base motor. You get that on the base trim level. Then you go to the middle and upper trim level on this Kia Forte and you get the new two liter version of that engine. They bored it out two liters and they slopped on top of it direct injection and that gives you more direct power, better efficiency and it just makes it a better overall driving machine. So that takes the engine from 148 horsepower to 173. Now because this car is 173 horsepower and obviously more torque, it makes it a more drivable machine, especially on the highway. We have the mountains here in Arizona, we're going through passes and it pulls very nicely. So that extra horsepower and extra torque is going to be welcomed by people who are shopping for a compact car. Kia tells us they're going to be right on par with what Hyundai charges for the Elantra, but on each trim level, they're going to have more standard features. So if you're a value buyer and you're in the marketplace for a compact car, Kia has always had great value, and with this new car, they're adding in even more. The star of the show is the 2-liter direct injection gasoline engine that has great power and fabulous fuel economy. So the Forte definitely is looking good. Looking for a small car? See all the reviews of the latest models at drivingtelevision.com.